little bit of an edge here, Quint. Yeah. First few levels against Key Attack up. I feel like that's the case always for the ODs, right? So around like the like the four level four hits, and then that's when he's usually able to take advantage of a lot of these melee mids. But I think most of the time the melee mids, first few levels, they do come out quite a bit ahead. Bottom lane, arrow. Mira. The ghost. He just gets run down by the two of them. Celery. <laughs> In the power of the ghost there from the jungle. No hesitation. They saw Antares leave the lane for just a quick second. They make that aggro move. Right, CK, this hero is very scary. He's able to get off to a good start like this. Very difficult to pressure him. I mean, it, it is a lane here. Top lane. Tofu. Nice they got down. him. I mean, Ace should be fine. Both safe lanes getting involved in a, a bit of positive action for each side of the map. And uh, which, which can absolutely control. But that just says a lot about how he feels about this lane. That He's just going to be able to sit here. Overall, though, incredibly even on the CS awesome right now board. across the board. Plane, getting a good shot back here to push Zola back towards the two of them. Should manage to finish him off. A couple more quills from Ace. They Hope got him. Dofa takes him down. Ramsey's indeed fighting for the trade. A few tower hits coming in onto Ace as well. It means the Ramses might just be able to clean up the two of them. He's got the stick charges. Should the have spray stacks are added up. Ramses is able to fight through them. Take him down. Double kill for the safe flame Weaver. Got a nice connection with the swarm there onto them. Very good versus the Bristol back early on, and he can be a pretty low armor here. I don't know if you want to go down here as nine pandas. This Chen, he's going to handle you. The tempo they can set with these type of early levels, taking towers and stuff like that. Nine pandas, they really don't have deep push at all. They have no way to clear creep waves or anything. They have to fight. For I mean, they're just storming across the map here. Gaming Gladiators, as they head back over towards the mid. They've got the combo set up on towards Key Attacker. Both comes crashing in onto him and Solo. Hello. They take Key Attacker out again. Solo's going to fall. The Torrent catches him. I mean, there's only so much Antares can do. He better start running himself. Gets hit by a huge Diebringer down to half his HP. There's a dead shot. Tofu can't line it up, though. So they're feeling like oh. they need a lot of time. To I mean, it's the only way they get back in this game. If they can like keep it. it going, they're not going to be turning any of the fights right now. They've just got to try and hope that they can stall and make this lineup work out in the long run. How can they stall, though, with almost no way to defend these towers early on? And Tarez, he's getting surrounded. Rest in peace. Goodbye, my friend. Many pieces. And now yeah. this tower also. They've got the tree armor at least to delay for a little bit. But Chen's up here. Mid. Tofu, and he's got his ATOS done. He's looking for the setup. Gets the dead shot pushback. Soto had to drop the ult to try and have hold back. Tofu, another little play. Another tumbler. Does get Key Attacker out of the combo. They'll settle for Solo. Tofu and Ace running him down. Axe is there. Key Attacker. Him and Derecho. He's actually found Key Attacker over the tier two. Sweeps over from the <laughs> side of the map. Takes out the OD. It's getting pretty messy, this one, folks. It is super messy. I mean, Ramsey's already getting to the point of cutting waves. He's like, I cut mid. They have no way to stop pushes. They, they have, have no OD push. They have to just let their towers fall. Because there's nothing they could do on the defensive. And nothing they could do on the offensive. I and mean, nothing they could do at all right now. 12k behind. Combo setups here for Quinn. Comes with the ancient seal. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Still hey, wait. get the drag back in time. Hopu got Ramsey's. Yeah, he did. He found him. He kept chasing him. Oh boy, I mean, this, this is, this is, is one of the best ones we've seen on the out here on the, the main stage of the Rotary International Playoffs. And the timing is I, I, I don't know what they do on Nine Pounders at this point. I mean, you gotta wait for I get Ramp, Radiance on Miro, and then look to fight, but the game might just end before that. I think it might end very, very shortly. As they get their drag back onto Key Attacker, dying under the tier fours. It's just 18 minutes in. A beat down. This is what they wanted with the Chen, and oh everything boy. is working for them. I mean, that's the thing. If you're nine pounders, what are you saying has got to go in the next game? Are you taking out a Chen? <laughs> are, are, are you considering that sort of banning against Seller? Because Seller, he did help crush that early game. You've got a whole lot of things to fix, I believe. Yep. Going into that next game. Right, this one. What do they do? Well, Radiance is done. All right. It's done. They got to try right now. Ah, this, this feels like my pops. You know, you're losing the base. But you're offline racing. He's like, I've got my radiance. It's rough. Ramses caught by the stun. I mean, he's got his radiance, but he's, he's he just dead dies one. in a second. He'll and die dies again. in another second. All right, all right, we're all on to the next right. one. Well, this was a, this was a quick one. Pre-20 minutes by looks, but 19 minutes in. Ramses gets dragged back into the torrent. I think they might want to end the pain. And then I uh, think GG is called. 19 minutes and a half in gaming. Oh. Wow. wow. Well. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. All right, be careful.